are in Joplin, Missouri. It's time to do a little quarter fender shopping. I had a uh, tire blowout and uh, it destroyed my right quarter fender. Also dented in my APU, did some damage to that. And so I've been having that and the boss was saying, hey, I got a, I got another one. Um, got another one um, in a truck back here, grab it when you get back or whatever. But the problem is, is the left one was also in bad shape too. And it basically was cracking, and the reason why is because I had some I had some issues with tires and stuff, and trailer tires in the past. And I, uh, this truck is I just had an issue with tires and such, but I've gotten all these issues fixed, <coughs> so I don't have all these vibrations anymore. But all that vibrating, it actually cracked the plastic. And just kept getting worse and worse, and finally that one broke too. So now I need to replace both of them. So I, I was talking to my boss, and I asked him how much they cost. He said about 150 bucks. And I said, well, how about some chrome ones? And he liked the idea. So I'm going to make it a pit stop here. Uh, I'm going to stop here at really, really truck. Wow. And the ride breaks pretty hard there. A delay on those brakes. Um, so I'm going to stop here at the Petro and I'm going to check out their pricing. And then I might go over to the Chrome Shop. I don't know. Never really made a decision if I'm going to go over there or not. I kind of noticed that their pricing was pretty high over there with some of the stuff. I don't know. We'll see how much they are, see what the condition of what these look like over here. But um, there's a lot of trucks sitting over at that crumb shop. I don't even know if I can get in there or not. There might be a parking in there. But I'm gonna make a pit stop right here, so I'll catch you guys later. I only see those one quarter fenders. I don't full ones here. I don't want these aisles. Well, guys, um, I'm leaving a mafia chrome shop here. I did buy a pair. Um, I bought a pair over here at the Petro. The pricing was really good on them. I didn't feel it was out of crazy idea for pricing on them. So I just bought them. But I needed uh, some compression fittings and I left out here and I thought, you know, I'm going to go over here and just check and make sure. And they have a full working shop, so they'll have the compression fittings. I didn't see any over at the Petro. Probably if I would have went out to the shop, I could have got some. But, um, so I drove on over there and they had the uh, quarter fenders, the exact same ones I purchased. And they were $45 more. I, the exact, exact same ones. 
And then um, I was like, okay, I think I made a wise choice buying them over there, I guess. The last couple times I've been over there, I had noticed in the, the pricing over there is higher. And I tell you, I'm not really into their customer service. The people in there, they, they don't really help you. They walk around like they're just too busy, too good to, you know, stop and say hi and, hey, what can I do for you? Can I help you find some? I've noticed that the last few times I've been in there, I just, I've not really felt good about it in there. And I said, whatever. Dude, you just went through a red light. Not one turn green. And, um... I was just whatever and so then I went back over to the shop area and I've gotten compression fittings there last time that I was here and stuff I had some other hoses that were leaking and I hate these quick disconnect fittings they, they always leak and so every time one starts leaking I just change it out and I put a compression fitting on it problem solved never gonna leak again and they're actually cheaper and I went back there and I'm like, I need two quarter inch compression fittings. Connect these two hoses together. Oh, oh, oh. I said, dude, they're in that cabinet right back there. He goes, he goes, uh, so you want quick quick connect ones? I'm like, no, I don't want the quick connect ones. I'm replacing the quick connect, you know, connect ones. I want the compression. Oh, okay. He's digging around in there and digging around. I see he opens up a cabinet. Oh, looks in there. Oh, we ain't got now. Let, let me go check. Let me go check back in the shop. And um, he goes walking in the back and everything. He comes out. He goes, oh, the shops ain't got, they don't have any in the shop either. He goes, let me punch it into the warehouse computer so it to see if they got some back there. Punch it up. Nope, we're completely out of fittings. How can a shop be out of compression fitting? And I mean, a quarter inch, that's a uh, pretty common size. I don't know, man. It's a little strange to me. We are on our way, entering into Oklahoma. Well, guys, we are down here in Americold. And um, somebody likes pistachio nuts, I saw that. But um, we're down here in Americold, and I'm going to work on these mud flaps while I'm sitting here getting unloaded. And this is the one where the tire blew. I ended up putting a trailer tire on there and it actually matched up perfectly with the other tire next to it. So it's kind of decided to leave it. I figured I'd take these off. Pretty simple. It's a nut right there. All right, guys. Um, basically, I had to get a ratchet to take it off of there. It was just too rusted. But um, there's a pipe that is mounted to the frame and it comes right here. You can see where this bent. So it comes right there. It's rusted on here. There's no way to get this off. There is a there is a groove down here. Where is it? Right here. There's a groove there. I probably could get a screwdriver in there. Went this way. But you know, hey, I got power tools. Makes it easier if you just put the groove up here. These can, I got a Phillips here, I should have a regular one. There we go. Simple as that. So I just pull them off. I already did the other side over there. I got that side all done. So I just gotta put the new ones together. Uh, they're actually in a box sitting up there and I'll probably do that at my uh, next place because I think I'm empty here already so I'll probably pack up I think I'm gonna be uh, they're gonna be calling me pretty soon and I'll be getting out of here well guys we are actually still at Americold um, I am empty but my next load doesn't pick up for like three hours something like that and it's straight here in Fort Worth someplace I don't even know I haven't been here before but um, 
I decided I'm going to actually just uh, put these on quick right here because I got the room. There's tons of room here. You can see all the open spots and everything sitting all around here. That's why it's so dumbfounding to me why they won't let you come in here earlier. But that's what it is. But these here are the quarter fenders that I bought. are made by United Pacific uh, same people I got my horns from and yes I still have my horns um, I just haven't put them on there tell you the truth guys I lost my mojo for a while there you're gonna have to excuse me I just lost my mojo but anywho um, United Pacific there was quite a few different ones there was one made by Lutz I think it was called the company name was Lutz and they were they were uh, 229 or 232 or something like that for the same size ones. I um, they looked like they were square. See, these have a round curvature to them that kind of goes with the tire flow. The other ones they didn't look like that. They kind of looked like they were just kind of almost straight up and down. And they didn't have a really good curve to them. And uh, in the United Pacific, I mean, I bought stuff from it. It's a kind of a generic company, but. It's been halfway decent stuff. So I picked these up. These were $239. So now we just gotta put them together quick. Some assembly required. It'll have these here bars. And I kinda like, I was looking at them it seems like all the styles they all come with this now because like the old ones if you guys remember I pulled them off they were just round tubes these here are kind of flat on one side I think it's gonna make it give it more support because the problem with these chrome ones is that they actually um, um, the round ones like that there's only you know maybe that much of the bar actually touching it and so they get flimsy and you flop back and forth. This has a big flat surface that'll mount it. So that's pretty good. I like that idea. But it seemed like all of them had that now. At least that they were selling at the Petro. But it seemed like all the models they had. They did have some more expensive ones. Um, hogs or something like that they're called. I'm probably mispronouncing that. But they seem to be the high end ones. And I mean they were like 500 and some bucks. And uh, yeah we don't need to go that way. So it's going to have this protective stuff on here and you're supposed to like just pull it off just where you're putting bolts on and then pull the whole thing off once you get it installed. The guys, I'm not worried about Right, guys um, basically we got these cross members here and we just want to make sure that they're gonna slide on here yep you're good to go now we just need to mount them on there and they actually have nut sets in there it's the same thing that I used on my door it's kind of nice you don't have to feed nuts on the back side here or nothing they got these little cross members and then they put a nut set in there so that's nice so pretty simple Try not to do this without scratching it. This is why you're supposed to leave. All the plastic stuff on there. Okay, that one's in now. Yep. There we go. Took a little bit of finagling with that one. Probably the nut sets were imperfectly square. It'd 
be honest with you, I probably should have grabbed some Loctite too. Everything has lock, lock washers, but probably should have still did it. There we go, that looks pretty good. Let me can mount out this bracket here, this mud flap thing. Basically, I could have gotten some custom ones that said Kenworth or whatever on them, but I didn't. I like the white on there. I don't know. I wanted to put the bolt that way, but I think I'm going to do it the opposite way. I think I'm going to put it this way. I really don't want to see the washer and nuts. There we go. It's all put together. Basically just want to put it in far enough so that it's even with the tire, so it's not sticking out. That's good. It's right in there. I'm gonna try to get it. I think that's pretty good. It's pretty close. I'm trying to keep the curvature of the tire. Let's tighten this up. Well, there you go. Guys, it's all put on there. It's all tightened up. 
I'm not really a fan of this. Um, I think when I get home, I'm going to pull that off. I may find some Kenworth ones too. I don't know. These are kind of flimsy. You know, they're supposed to give if the trailer hits them and they're supposed to move, but that's a little. I mean, going down the road, they're just going to be like this. Those are a little flimsy. I might get myself some Kenworth ones or something. Um, but then, whatever color they are, if they're black or like this one, I may pull this off and paint this black because then you won't see this. But you kind of need to have that on there so it holds this rubber piece on. If you just put the bolts through there, the bolts will pull through the rubber and they'll just tear off. So there you go. It's a, a little bit wobbly down there and stuff, but that's fine. I think if I would have went with those other ones, those high-end ones, those would have been, um, they had like a, a bend in them. They had like a pattern on them, and I think that would add strength to them. But they were another 200 and some dollars, so I think these will work. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and uh, get her done. Well, guys, there we go. Got both of them mounted up. Got them nice and straight. Everything else, they're all good on there, secured up on there. Um, I know some of you guys are going to look at this and go, ah, you put this upside down. Yes, I did. I hate those when they're down below. I know it's so you don't see it, but you know what? I just, you can't get wrenches on the back side of it and stuff to hold it. You can't get back apart, but whatever. I always put them up like that. Just something I do. I know it's not right. It's supposed to be down. But there you go. I got some more bling on uh, Big Blue here. I was looking at this before. Look at the reflection. Look at all the dirt. I did some kind of mud. You can see it up on a trailer and stuff. I don't know where I was, but I picked up something. Flung it everywhere, so. Now the shiny surface just shows off that my truck is really dirty. So I need to get a truck wash. But like I said, I think I'm going to paint these. I think I'm going to find some new ones of these and then I'll paint these. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day, great night. So you're watching this here video. And if you are not, certainly can change all around and try it all over again tomorrow. I'm going to hook up my trailer, guys. And I'm going to head off to my next pickup. See you later.